Hello everyone, today I would like to introduce a new workflow that I have implemented. This workflow has the function of editing lighting, which is very important in the creation process. They say the art lies in the lighting, and now this workflow will help you achieve that. Moreover, it can help you flexibly decide the space according to your wishes with the tool that controls the image appearance in each required area. Of course, it can also quickly change the background. Now, without further ado, let's get started. As always, I use a random image. Here, I am using this image of a very beautiful girl. I just need to drag it into the load image section and that's it. Next, in the first attempt, I will let it run randomly to load all the images into the editable frames. Now we come to determining the lighting you need. The area that is dark in will be the brightest part of the image. I will use the mask editor to create it. You just need to right click here and open it. In the overall prompt section, I will set up some prompts to specify the quality and general scene. For the details section, I have set up for positions that need adjustment. You can use as many as you want, or you can skip this step if you already have a well-converted image. We still use the mask editor for control. Here, I will give an example where the right side of the image has a dark background. So, I will darken this part and set the prompt accordingly. At this position, I will set the prompt as lighting position and continue to use the mask editor for identification. To prevent the character and the image from becoming too dark, I will suggest a prompt for a slight light to balance the lighting. Now, let's begin the image generation process. Very quickly, we have the result. The background has appeared exactly as specified in the prompt. Now, I will repeat these steps once again with a different lighting direction. I'll fast forward this part. As you can see, the lighting has been changed according to the position you requested, accurately and beautifully. So, what about objects? It seems that if you're working on product advertising related tasks, using AI to create backgrounds is no longer unfamiliar. However, sometimes the output images may not always be as desired, there might be some unexpected areas. Now, I will use this process to demonstrate how flexible and accurate this workflow is. It will undoubtedly be very helpful for your work. As before, I will run it first so that the images can load into all the control boxes. The steps remain the same as before, but this time I will add some additional details such as curtains or defining the floor and so on. Done, now let's see the results to compare with the auto setting without specific position control. You see, the floor is in the right position. There are even curtains, bedside lamps, windows overlooking the city, and the lighting area is controlled accurately as set in the prompts. So what about images with existing backgrounds? You don't want them anymore and want a different background instead of the boring old one, right? This is obvious. I have also set up this part so that you can quickly customize it without having to change to another workflow and reload everything. After setting up this converter kit, we will return to the usual steps. Everything has been automated, so you don't need to change anything. It's very simple, isn't it? The new background is also very beautiful and the lighting and space are extremely reasonable. However, to achieve beautiful and accurate images, the checkpoint also plays a significant role in the final image creation process. This is especially important. Now, I will guide you on how to set up and use basic IC lighting if you do not have the opportunity to use this workflow that I designed. First, you need to install the IC lighting note set. Currently, there are many IC lighting extensions available. However, I will show you the one that I often use and find quite stable. Here it is, you need to install it, then click on the link to go to GitHub where you will find the download link. You need to download the three IC light models and place them in the unit folder. This folder is available in the source folder of Comfuey. 
And here's how to set it up. You still need to set up the initial default nodes like all other image generation processes. And the checkpoint for IC light to work currently is V1.5. If you use V to 0 or SDXL, errors may occur. And the setup method for IC lighting will also be slightly different from usual. You need to call out the node for processing at the model path. Next is the part where you handle conditions and latents. Next is the input lighting processing. Here, I will use mask and paint to control the lighting more easily than using pre-existing gradient images. The current lighting is too sharp, so I will add a blur node to make it smoother. Next is the brightness intensity. I will reduce the brightness using the remap node. The final result is quite good, isn't it? In the next video, I will focus on workflows for creating videos using AI with significant assistance from this workflow. By the way, I have also updated both versions of the workflow on my Patreon. Of course, there will be a small fee and you can download them there. Follow me and join my Patreon to get high-quality workflows that I designed to make your work more effective. Thank you and see you next time.